All right, so we have reached the point where we can head on down to the nest, the umbrella lab that's beneath Raccoon City. Now, just like in the original, well, the uh, the previous playthrough as as Claire, we have the option of going back. We can take a run back up to the police station in order to find a couple of items which, well, probably just got missed. So let's do that. Not that I need any of them as long as I'm cheating my ass off. But it's nice to have some shit now and then. So there isn't going to be any storyline stuff going on in this episode. Just us running through the running all the way back up to the police station. We don't need to go the way that we came. But I'm not sure if I'm going the right way at all. Uh, I think it's up this way. Elaborate sewer system they have set up. Why'd you put the flashlight away, you dumbass? I can't frickin' see. Let's open half the lockers, sure. That makes a lot of sense. That puts us in this weird kind of basement underneath of the secret office. Where we had fought Birkin the first time. The elevators are a little bit annoying. Because it feels sort of like a throwback to the old loading doors of the previous games. Shit, did I throw the valve hand? Oh, no, I didn't need it. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. All right. This is not the quickest way. Never even got the key to that. Hell of a way to die, bro, but okay. Missed him. Okay, to do this strangely enough, you actually need to head back to the dark room. And you can't... You can't actually do this until 
you develop the film. Is that the only one I have? Might be the only one. Hiding place. Two hiding places. Now one's in the press room, the other's in the star's office. So let's go. Star's office is closer. Now you, it's not like, oh, I know where that is. I can just head over there and check it out in the beginning. You actually need to develop the film before you can find the items. Which feels weird to me, but I guess I had to make it so you sort of actually had to complete the puzzle. Dot site for the... Dot site for the lightning hawk. Let's head over there over the other side. Oh, can't get through there. Damn it. <laughs> Do I gotta go all the way back? I feel like I think I gotta go all the way back. Because I can't get through that door. I guess this is the quickest way to get back. Although, not the laundry room. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, you know what? I'm being an idiot. I didn't have to go... Wow. Wow, there was another way back. And like an idiot, I just didn't do it. This is also the way back. Ah, damn it. <laughs> really obstruct your movements on the B playthroughs, don't they? Never coming back here again. Don't have to worry about zombies. He's fine. Got about you. Ah, just an extra f fuel canister for the flamethrower. And I believe that is everything of note in the police station. I do like how they sort of, well, it's always been a thing in Resident Evil where you double back over places you've previously been. That's nothing new. But it does feel weird that they sort of went and took you all the way back here when you had moved past it like quite a while ago. Oh, badass. Of course, this was optional. Well, you do leave the police station. Go down to the basement. Then you have to come back to the police station. And that's when... Uh, which did happen in the original game. But this third return to the police station, which is the optional one, 
is what feels weird to me. I have the power! The Desert Eagle, which was the... Which is what you got in the original Resident Evil 2. I guess they couldn't use the name anymore for licensing reasons, because Desert Eagle is an actual... is an actual gun. You did get an upgrade for that, but it was pretty late in the game and made it into a crazy powerful weapon. But... Uh, these super guns, you're never really supposed to have a lot of ammunition for them. So, if you had saved it up, you saved up your ammo for the Desert Eagle until pretty late in the game and then used it all after the upgrade, you were pretty much just like had such an easy time getting through. If you had used up your ammunition when you got it, by the time you got the upgrades, you would only have like five or six uh, five or six shots by the time you had gotten the upgrades so it would feel kind of wasteful but anyway we've gotten through this I've gotten the last of the police station crap got my upgrades that I don't need so I guess uh, it's the end of this episode and next one we'll actually pick back up and play the game proper Do note that uh, we, from not the starting area of the game, but from the lobby of the police station, which in a sense feels like the start of the game. We managed to go all the way out here without hitting a single loading screen. Miracles of modern technology, huh? Eh?